So before all the craze with these percussive fingerstyle steel string guitarists, there was the original percussive guitar, which is flamenco guitar. So let me show you a few ways that we get percussive on flamenco guitar using what's called golpes. So some people might think that there's not much of an art or much technique behind hitting your guitar, but there actually is. There's a proper way to do it. So let me show you some of the most popular ways that we use the golpe in flamenco guitar. Okay, so generally speaking, there's a few different ways that we could use our hand to create golpes on the guitar. Now it just depends on what type of effect we want to create or what we're exactly playing to decide which of these golpes we're going to use. Alright, golpe number one. We're going to use our middle and ring. And for this golpe, we're going to use more of a fleshy sound. So we want to steer away from the nail and get more of that fleshy, bassy sound. Now it's a combination of tapping with your fingers and letting your wrist do some of the motion as well. So you want to get a little bit of this, a little bit of the wrist, and then a little bit of the fingers also doing a tapping. So how should you practice this? Anchor your thumb as if you were going to do an arpeggio or, or a rasgueo, and then try tapping on the top of your guitar, getting that fleshy sound. You might get a little bit of nails sometimes, but just do your best to try to make it more of a fleshy sound. Now the most typical way that you'd be using this golpe technique would be using your index finger at the same time. So you're going to want to practice this with your index finger as well. Now you want to create like a scissor type motion. So index finger comes down, you're going to do the golpe also. So it's going to be... Now a lot of beginners have trouble doing that simultaneously at first. So I suggest isolating each about four times, then doing the golpe four times. One of my tips is to try to focus more on the golpe and less on the index finger. Just pretend that index finger is just dropping down to the floor and don't worry about getting a perfect sound with the index finger. For now, you just want to get your hand to cooperate. So let's grab an E chord. And a simple exercise for this would just be playing one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now the goal of this golpe is to give it that nice fleshy low end sound so you give it that nice heavy accent. If you're getting some value out of this and learning a few new tricks don't forget to like the video and if you'd like to follow my future weekly lessons don't forget to subscribe as well. Now let's just look at one more variation of this golpe on the other end of the spectrum. So now instead of the fleshy sound, let's go for the nail sound. Now this is going to come a little bit easier, you don't have to hit as hard. Alright, so the next golpe I'd like to show you is called the capirote, and it's one of the golpes I love using the most. It's when we use our index finger or our middle finger. I personally like using my index finger more, and you strike from the top. So you're striking on the wood from the top of the sixth string and you're almost simultaneously following through the strings. This golpe is a combination of the wrist motion with the finger snap. So it's just one simultaneous sound of the wood and then striking through. So it's a quick accent and it's a simultaneous accent. Now you have to follow through very quickly otherwise you'll get stuck on the sixth string. I like to flick off the back of my thumb just like I do with some rasgueados. Now just make sure you're not doing it too harshly or holding too much tension. Now to practice this one, you could grab the metronome and just play with the beat. So you could just do one, two, three, four. All right, let's move to golpe number three. So golpe number three is probably the easiest one to grasp. It's basically just using your whole hand and slapping the guitar. So this golpe we primarily use to stop the abanico. If you're not familiar with the abanico and you want to learn more about it, feel free to check out more in the link above me or in my description. The other primary use of this golpe is for playing rumba flamenca or rumba like you hear in the south of France, the gypsy rumba. Lastly, another golpe that we use a lot in rumbas, and not too much in other flamenco forms, is with the thumb. So there's a few different rumba rhythms that like using the thumb golpe up here, in a few different patterns.
right, guys, that about covers all the main golpes that we use for flamenco. If you liked the video, please don't forget to give it a like. Please subscribe if you'd like to see future lessons. And leave me a comment and let me know how your progress is coming along. If there's anything you'd like to see or anything I could help you with. Also, if I forget to mention anything, I'd love to hear about it as well.